a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whoops, just I hope you're having a great day today. So for the most of the countries who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Now I'm going to be doing something today I've never done in my entire life, and that is making a gingerbread house with using a building kit. So my mum saw this in Ikea and she was like, I'm going to buy one. And I'm gonna buy you one so you can use it. She said, thank you, mother. So we're gonna open it up. I, like I said, never used a kit before in my life. Oh, it smells like new bread. Okay, open up. Oh, that artificial gingerbread though. Oh, this is cute. All right, so we got some sides, I assume, and some roof. We got sides, roof, we got a front and a back, and something. Two little squares and two little things. I have no idea what they're for. What are they for? Oh. Now there's instructions inside on like how to build it. Which I'm gonna try and open. But well, I'm gonna try and do it anyway without using instructions but um oh yeah I need to make icing sugar forgot about that part oops because it doesn't come with icing and I have royal icing but I didn't actually make icing hmm probably should do that first let me go do that Now I have my icing that is made. So now I'm gonna make the gingerbread house. Hallelujah. So I need, I know I'll need a side here, a side here. That's the roofs. And one of these pieces on each end. So. All right, so this is what it looks like. We got two sides, two sides. So these are the ends. So we got, I think it's this one. Yeah, these are like the end type pieces. And then we have this little house on the other side. We got this gonna go on top. And then we have these little pieces are the little chimneys, I realized. So let's put them together. So now that we have all the pieces in a setup rough order, I guess we should just put them all together. Let's do it. So I'm going to put away this one for the moment. I'm going to first, oops, spoon don't go away. So I've got my icing, which is just is um, icing sugar, a little bit of lemon juice, and emin, egg yolk, not yemen loaf. So if you don't have a piping bag like this, just grab a like sandwich bag, cut the corner off and you're all good. Should have grabbed a cup because that's another pro tip. But that's okay. Because if you have a cup, what you can do is you like put it in the cup, you let it sit for a minute or so, not even, and it just soaks through. It's also just easier to like put everything in, but we'll do it this way, it's fine. I think it's just way too runny. So, can I use another alternative? I have royal icing. Do you dry? No. I don't think you guys dry either. But Do you dry? I don't remember. Yeah, I know it's in you. So, uh, time, what? Time, guy, blah, 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 blah. 
Let it do that. We'll give it a spin. Let's just try. Do a test. Alright, I'm just piping a little bit. Put stuff on the side. And then, how do you even like even do this? So I assume. Oh, so I'm attaching to the wrong thing. Oh, that'd be helpful. Like that. Oh, you seem a bit stronger. But then you just. Okay, we have a structure. It's falling. Don't. Can you not fall? Okay, not too bad. So, a quick overshot. So, we got this side, this side, you guys, and there. <laughs> we got here, and here. So, I'm gonna leave it to dry, see if it sets or not. Hopefully progress, I don't know. If not, then this is just a big giant fail, but... Oh well, it's Christmas time. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to leave that to set once I put a bit more on this side. For maybe like five minutes. Yeah, about five minutes and then we'll see how it goes from there. Alright, so Dad just got home, so he's going to help me fix it. As all dads do, they help you fix things. So he's gonna help me fix that in a little bit, so maybe we'll actually get a proper one done. I guess we'll see, who knows. Mm -hmm. Alright, right. we've just got to let that settle. Let that settle. Let Hi, so it is the next day actually, and my dad and I spent some time working on as you saw snippets of it here and there, and it's all put together. So this kind of comes off, because I haven't glued it on. But it's here, all ready, so now I'm going to ice it. Let's see how that goes pretty much. Probably not that good, but oh well. Alright, so it is many days later. And I'm going to ice this thing. So, let's get started, I guess. Hey! Not too bad if I say so myself. You're a little bit blurry, hold on. Yeah! That looks awesome! Alright, so I'm gonna grab a Smarty from the fridge. Or not a Smarty, sorry, an M&M. M&M. Because, and that means I can use it as a doorknob. This is my final gingerbread house. This is what it looks like. Let me move this out of the way. So we got the little little box that has the street number because um, we don't have chimneys. And then this is what it looks like. So we got 
red and green on the top, and then crisscross, blue window seals, a blue, no blue, black door. And I didn't do anything to the sides, because I kind of like it plain. And on the back, we have, again, the crisscross, blue windows, and a yellow star. Because why the hell not? So that is my gingerbread house. I am so proud, that looks so good. I'm very, very happy. So, how am I gonna do this? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Sorry that this video is long. I don't know if it's long or not actually, but I'm sorry, but I'm so proud. I'm not a huge fan actually of gingerbread, but I know my grandma likes it, so I might give it to her maybe, possibly. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, dry out says in the next video, Sarcasm out, and let's bring in for a race. Sarcastic hug. Merry Christmas, y'all. Y'all, really? What? And let's fade it out.